All right, this one might be a little bit longer than most, but I guarantee you it'll be worth it. Um, this is um, starting at Cut Bank Ranger Station and going over Triple Divide and then coming out um, by Red Eagle Lake and then um, over by the 1913 Ranger Station cabin. Um, this one, a lot of people seem to do it from the Ranger Station and then go back over to Cut Bank. Um, so they start from St. Mary basically and go to Cut Bank. So if that's the way that you're gonna do it, then just watch this in reverse. So anyway, yeah, uh, both of them start out with epic meadow views and I'll start out with the Cup Inc. one and you're just looking up the North Cup Inc. Creek drainage and it's just fantastic, you know, bad marriage on your left and then just looking all the way up towards that triple divide, it's just fantastic. And you walk through a bunch of wooded areas for about the first four miles along North Cup, North, uh, fork of the Cup Bank Creek and it's just um, yeah just a real pretty pretty creek that you're moseying on up over and uh, yeah you'll break away from you go past the uh, Atlantic Creek campground and everything and finally when you get to the turn off for Medicine Grizzly Lake um, you start to climb then really and as soon as you do it starts to open up into some really cool views and uh, from there it just keeps getting more and more and more epic as you just climb up and uh, yeah so as you're um, finally it goes to where you can you're looking down on Medicine Grizzly Lake and uh, and the higher up you go uh, another lake kind of appears um, somewhere inside tucked away up on Medicine Grizzly and the mountain there so um, yeah so just it's nice as you're climbing and you know little tiny surprises just kind of keep on coming at you so um, finally, you make it up to Triple Divide Pass, and uh, you know, so you, you have one view looking back, and I, I guess there's a lot of times there's sheep up there. I saw a lot of sign, but I didn't see any sheep. Saw tons of marmots, and uh, got some sweet footage of some marmots uh, uh, fighting, playing. I'm not exactly sure, but uh, it looks kind of a, like a funny rodent dance. And uh, then you're looking at Triple Divide Peak, um, and uh, the cool thing about Triple Divide, and the reason why they call it that, is because it actually, depending upon where the drop of precipitation lands, one of them will follow the um, Hudson Bay Creek to Hudson Bay. Another one will go and uh, flow out to the Missouri, and, um, and that is actually Atlantic Creek. Um, will, that will flow out to the Missouri, the Mississippi, then the Gulf of Mexico. And then you have the last one that will actually um, flow on out to um, the Pacific Ocean. So, you know, it's really kind of a cool little place. Um, I don't know if there's many places like that on North America continent, but that's a really sweet one. So anyways, uh, yeah, looking into the St. Mary side, um, you start to work your way down and waterfalls are awesome. And there are quite a few here. I actually took some pictures of them and forgot to video a few of them, but I did get some of them and uh, they're really great. And there's a section that um, pretty much you expect either a moose, a grizzly, or worse yet, a velociraptor to jump out onto the trail. So it's just, it keeps wandering through there and you know, saw some monkey flowers and just lots of really cool um, terrain, you know, you're just looking up onto some big cliffs and saw a little, uh, um, saw a mountain goat kind of checking me out from above. And But there is just this section that was just crazy filled with hollyhock blossoms. And um, I don't know, I just really, really loved it. And trying to capture with my camera, I don't know. If you think it's pretty, then awesome. But I'm telling you, it was better than that. Um, I guarantee you. And, um, and then, and that kind of gave way to some more fireweed. Um, and the fireweed I really experienced later on. Eventually you come down and you run into Red Eagle Creek and uh, you go ahead and cross that. And, uh, and it's a little sandpiper hanging out over there. And then came to another crossing, which is really cool. Like, is over this nice little waterfall sort of a deal. And, they had a little rock stepway and stuff and saw an American Dipper, which they, I don't know, just for some reason have a special place in my heart. And, uh, and then you're really close to um, getting to Red Eagle Lake. I get into camp and I had heard that there was going to be a moose there. And, uh, and so as I was getting ready to kind of wash off, I arrived a little bit late. I heard a rumble um, 
It's the only way that I can describe it. And then I looked up and stepping out from the bushes was a huge bull moose, which made me excited. And so I told everyone in camp and got my camera and was able to go ahead and um, video him. And he just hung out for the longest time. And that was just fantastic. He actually hung out for a couple hours just eating until it got dark. And um, actually some campers as they were coming in in the, um, in the darkness uh, got a kind of a crazy surprise as he decided it was time for him to get out of the lake. So anyways, wake up the next morning and sure enough, he decides that it's time to have breakfast. So, um, so he comes down there. And so that was just really fantastic just to go ahead and watch um, the moose again in the morning. And he was just such a big guy. And eventually he uh, ran right through our camp and seeing him next to people, man, whew, he just, you just realize how big of an animal that is. Um, it's really hard to get perspective sometimes until they're next to something that you can um, compare sizes to. But anyways, man, just so beautiful coming out of there. And, you know, walking along the lake, um, you know, got to see what I think were some golden eyes. And then, and then there was, uh, you know, the hummingbirds were, were feeding off of the, the fireweed. And let me pause and talk about fireweed. It was beautiful. Um, where the hollyhock was gorgeous, it was just as gorgeous, just a little bit darker. And that was just so beautiful. Um, and, uh, and also got to see some swallows. There must have been a hatch right above the water because they were just, you know, kind of hovering over, over the water, just um, eating away. And, uh, and then got to see some uh, wax wings eating bugs and just a bunch of different birds and just watching them feed is just really just cool and um, yeah so you you start to walk through this burn area and um, or you continue to walk through the burn area and um, the way out of the lake is you know pretty level there's a little gradual up and down but for the most part it's it's pretty flat and um, you know you kind of go through big open meadows to um, kind of tunnels of, of Aspen and that kind of thing. Um, I've covered it more in um, a couple of my other blogs uh, when I did like Beaver Pond Trail and also the St. Mary Lake. So you'll definitely want to check those out. And if you're not on my blog, hike734.com and uh, I will list those links below. And uh, yeah, so you just kind of get a really good idea coming there. And of course you finish up or you start with um, the really beautiful um, open meadow down at St. Mary. And, uh, and that's really special. Um, another little thing to note is it's berry time. Um, so um, learn your berries and find out which ones are edible. If you're not sure, obviously don't eat, but for the ones that are edible, um, I've covered huckleberries already and I can't remember if I videoed them, but there's definitely thimble berries. Those are edible and delicious. And I saw some raspberries and strawberries and you know, just, uh, yeah, there's just some really uh, cool berries just popping up right now. So just, it's really neat to kind of watch the summer progress and going from, you know, a bunch of flowers to, um, to their fruits and uh, as they go to seed. And then of course, there's still a bunch of flowers that are still blooming. So as difficult of a year as this has been with all the snow, uh, waterfalls have been great. The flowers have been great. And uh, so, I can't complain too much because it's just been really cool watching um, deer and moose and whatnot. So anyways, hope you enjoyed this blog and um, yeah, uh, stay tuned for, for more good times.
<laughs> yeah, you're going to get a good body shot here in a little bit. When he goes, he'll start to come out. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, that, I definitely know my hair. 